Albuquerque and it's still only 43 degrees. I actually got into a little bit of rain back there, but thankfully it was pretty minor. Really no complaints so far about the road or the route other than the fact that it's just not really been very warm at any point today. So I'm looking forward to maybe getting out of these clouds and getting into the 50s. Hopefully as I drop down the hill here into Santa Fe, it'll start warming up, because I'm ready for it.
70 degrees, I've got my vents open, and it feels pretty good. So, not gonna bore you, but I'll check in with you around the time I stop for food slash gas next. dude standing in a trailer holding two refrigerators in place. That's fine. Alright, leaving Payson. Just realized that the clock's actually changed, so it's not 5.45, it's 4.45. But yeah, I'm gonna get there probably around 10 o'clock. I needed that break. And then tomorrow it's get tires put on Yennefer and get a little bit of a service done. I had two people stop me like as I pulled up to the gas station. Like, oh, hey, is that a Tenere 700? That thing's sweet. Got my headset charged, so I, the jams are back on. I will see you probably shortly after it gets dark.
I am in Gila Bend. We've got 127 miles to go. I'm about to hop on I-8 and blast through these last, this last basically like hour and a half. Um, just topped off for the final time. And I just got a notification that I got my first Patreon subscriber. So thank you, Nathan. That's all I know about you right now because I didn't have time to read the email. But <laughs> I appreciate it. The sunset was gorgeous. I just wish that I wasn't driving directly into it. It would have made it a lot easier to see. But, you know, you can't have everything. Guess who just finished an iron butt? I'm pulling into the gas station now. It is officially 1,000.6 miles. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna get gas and then go to the Airbnb that I have reserved. And I will talk to you tomorrow, probably sometime. Did it. Tomorrow for sure. Alright, wakey wakey. Alright, camera's on. Heading over to grab some breakfast. And then SRE Power Sports. I'm not sure how to say it. We'll figure it out later. But they're putting new shoes on the bike. So, oh, I am sore. <laughs> that was a long day yesterday. So yeah, 17 hours and 20 minutes on the bike yesterday. That was a long ass day. There's no other way to put that. I'm not as sore as I expected I was gonna be. I'm sore, but I'm sore in like weird places that I didn't expect. Like my neck is sore, my hands are sore, my hip flexors and like some other weird stuff like that. But like my butt isn't particularly sore, which I credit to the sergeant's seat and to also my moto skibbies because I was wearing those yesterday. God, thank God I was wearing those yesterday. So yeah, like, I'm sore. My hands especially. God, my hands are wrecked. And that was with the throttle lock. If I hadn't had the throttle lock, that, that would just not be impossible to do. I would be ruined. It's over here somewhere. Oh, I think I see it. It's, there it is. Let's go do the thing. A lot of boring math later. Alright, we are recording. Got Jennifer back. She's got the new rubber on. Definitely feels a little strange at first. Not sure about SRE Power Sports. The first thing I noticed is that the oil filter on it is not the can and oil filter that I dropped off to them to have put on because the can and oil filters have a nut at the front that allows you to use, you know, a 13 mil socket or something to pull the filter off. And that's not what's on the bike. But he assures me that the filter was changed and then a high flow oil filter was put on it. So 
I'll take his word for it. But yeah, I don't know. Like I gave you the oil and the filter and the two, like I gave you all the stuff. I just needed the labor. It seems like a strange thing not to use. But at least it's got the tires on it. That was the biggest thing I needed. They were able to get me in and get tires swapped and a basic service on the bike done. But this is the Dual Venture front wheel and the Adventure rear. Should be a pretty good combination to last. They're basically at both 70-30 tires, 70% off-road, and they should last me three or 4,000 miles at least. They might last longer. Yeah, anytime you put new rubber on a bike, you suddenly realize how worn the old stuff was. Because the new stuff wants to roll in real different. But, you get used to it. 